Drive. Today we drive Hyundai India's latest flagship electric vehicle that promises driving range of over 600 kilometers among premium features. And we bring you sights and sounds from the inaugural all-electric Hyderabad e -Pri. Hello and welcome to Overdrive. I'm Soini Dutt. As you can see, it's a very electric show we have lined up for you today. Let's start off with the all-new Hyundai Ioniq 5. It is probably the most important electric vehicle that Hyundai builds globally today. It is the brand's first ground-up electric vehicle that promises to offer over 600 kilometers of driving range and also level 2 ADAS features. Tuhin will get you all the details. Now, the Hyundai Ioniq 5 is probably the Korean car maker's most important car globally as of right now. It's finally here in India as its new flagship. And it's filled with the kind of fresh, out-of-the-box thinking that will India electrics to buyers. As it stands, it's also got 631 kilometers off range and is locally assembled, so it should be a good deal as well. This is down to the rupees 45.95 lakh asking price. So even though the Ionic is very closely related to the Kia EV6 with the same eGMP architecture, Hyundai has been able to position this car within a gap in the EV segment using just a simple rear motor setup and a smaller 72.6 kilowatt hour battery pack. Now the first thing that you need to know about the Ionic 5 is that it's quite a bit larger than what it looks like on screen or in photos. Now this crossoverish hatchback mishmash kind of shape this very funky look hides the fact that this is longer and wider than the Tucson if not as tall but yes the Hyundai Ioniq 5 is really quite a large car what will catch your eye immediately though is this neo retro styling it takes inspiration from the Hyundai Pony from 1975 the first Korean developed car you see this in the double barrel light design enhanced here in a deep set cluster with the seamless black band. But it's the detailing that lifts it, the pixelated LED DRLs and the hidden striations for the full width lighting being the most prominent. The look is also especially clean. There are no visible radar sensors and the flaps in the bumper only open on the move for cooling the battery and ventilation. Now it's very clear of the benefits that Hyundai has been able to achieve using this EV only eGMP architecture. For example, you don't see this very often in EVs for some reason, but there's a proper front trunk or a fruit or whatever you want to call it. It's 57 litres, so you can actually use it for more than just your chargers. And that continues when you move to the side as well. Of course, you have these really large 20-inch wheels. We've never seen wheels like this in a Hyundai before, but they're there. The boot is a large 537 litres. It's got a flat of slightly high lip, but a square and useful space. As with many EVs, you don't get a spare wheel with the motor being packed underneath. Overall, despite ground clearance growing to a laden 163mm for India, the Ionic 5 is striking with its square squat proportions. Now, while the Ionic 5 looks quite funky and almost sci-fi-ish from the outside, on the inside, there's quite a bit of thought that's gone into it. And to be honest, this, to start with, is quite a premium interior. So it's simple, but really quite thoughtfully done. And then you have this steering wheel, which again is a bit different from regular Hyundai's, but has capacitive buttons, these paddles for the regen modes, and these really quite hefty, really nice to use stocks for the indicators, for the wipers, and even the gear levers, almost a Mercedes style sort of stock mounted here. Same with these two 12.3 inch screens, they have completely new graphics, which are an upgrade over what you've seen in say something like the Tucson. Now the heavy use of white materials, many of which are from recycled waste, is calming but it will take some cleaning. The white themed instrumentation merges quite nicely with this though. The EV specific graphics are detailed, giving you a great idea of just how far you can go with the battery levels. But what really uplifts this ambience are these really smart touches that Hyundai has done. It's a playful thing so it really works. For example, there's no H logo here on this horn pad. It's just four dots which is Morse code for the letter H, very thoughtfully done. And then, of course, this two-spoke steering wheel that I mentioned, really well made. You have these drive modes, which is, again, quite in quite a sporty manner on the steering wheel. And it doesn't stop there. You get these, aside from the usual lumbar adjustment and the powered adjustments, you also get these leg rests on the seats, if you can see. So there's that added degree of comfort. And then with the EV architecture, 
of course there's immense practicality the door pockets are large as you can see it's a step through floor there's no central tunnel at all to speak of and it doesn't stop there as you can see you can actually slide this central tun tunnel back and forth which is and just walk through or maybe put something here if you want to and as you've come to expect from Hyundai this is backed up by a really long set of features but really if you're spending close to 50 lakhs on a car the back seat really has to be quite important and again with that 3000 mm wheelbase the Ionic 5 delivers here in spades as well for example there's immense space like the front it's a fully flat floor there's barely a hump because it's a skateboard architecture a lot of knee room and leg room you can put your feet underneath the front seats and this is a really quite uncommon a lot of EVs that we drive with their compromised floors with which holds the battery pack you don't have under thigh support but with this always being designed as an EV that problem does not exist so it really is quite a comfortable bench here and considering the width three people will easily fit here and it doesn't stop there you can slide it forward like this slide it back and also recline to quite a comfortable angle you can do it for both this split and this split of course you have this moon roof it doesn't open sadly but it of course has a shade so yeah in terms of rear seat comfort too the ionic 5 really does deliver now that's a fully loaded electric vehicle from hyundai india we'll tell you all about the powertrain and charging ability of the ionic 5 after this very short break stay with us you're watching overdrive <laughs>